everyone long time no see i have been horrible at keeping up with this um i think the last vlog video i made i said that i was gonna try to keep up with doing this more and i clearly failed miserably um but in my defense a lot has happened since the last time i made a vlog and i'm trying to remember i think at that point i think i was yeah i was married already and we had our wedding and we moved up to the DMV area and we were living in a house that we rented. And I can't remember if I already told you guys we bought a home, but we did buy a home last August of 2023. And we have like moved in, we've been getting stuff like fixed because it was like an older home or at least the woman who was living in it was like in her eighties and she passed away. So there's just like a lot of stuff that had to be like renovated and redone. So we had to get like, um, just like little fixes. We had to fix the washing machine. Is it the, no, not the wash, the dishwasher, the refrigerator, and just like little things around the house that needed to be updated that hadn't been updated. We still have major fixes to do. We want to do the kitchen. The kitchen is old. It looks like it's from like 1980, but it's functional. So we said, okay, well, we're not going to do that right now because that's going to be a huge expense probably at least i'm guessing around fifteen thousand dollars and we just bought the house so we said like, okay we just spent all this money let's wait to get that done as long as we can like cook and the kitchen is functional we're just going to be okay with that for at least the next year or two um so we're trying to do smaller things to make the house like our own we really want to decorate our bedroom nicely so we're actually getting like an accent wall done maybe getting a new bed frame pictures like really making our bedroom really cozy and welcoming in the guest bedroom too and those will be less expensive than redoing like the whole kitchen and then maybe we'll move on to the bathrooms and then next year we'll get the kitchen done i don't know we just we're gonna have to figure it out but the biggest announcement of them all is that i am pregnant with a little baby girl it's like still crazy when i talk about it. like i can't believe that i'm pregnant with a little baby girl one i can't believe i'm pregnant just because this is my first pregnancy and i don't know you know like i'm gonna be 33 this year and i've just always not been pregnant so it's like interesting now that i'm pregnant and i have seen like the ultrasound of the baby and the baby moving i'm like oh it's a little baby that's alive and moving it's it's really cute i'm really excited i'm so thankful to like so far my pregnancy hasn't been too horrible first trimester was pretty bad though i didn't i wasn't throwing up but i was so nauseous and just so weak and tired and just getting lightheaded like i could barely walk up a flight of stairs without feeling like i needed to sit down um so i'm thankful i'm out of my first trimester officially today i'm entering my second trimester so i'm excited about that but um of course main priority is having a healthy baby i'm so thankful that so far all tests and everything have came back have come back normal um so now i can say that i'm also super excited to have a baby girl i've really wanted a baby girl you know and i didn't i didn't want to jinx myself i was like you know what boy or girl i'll be very happy little boys are fun and cute little girls are fun and cute i said either way i know i'm gonna just like love the baby so it's really not the biggest deal but i knew in my heart of hearts i did want a little baby girl my sisters their first babies were all girls my mom has three girls and i just like i just love the idea of just having a little girl and her growing up and having like hopefully a close relationship with her and just like being really close with her that's what i'm hoping i know nothing's guaranteed but i'm just like super excited to have the possibility of having a really close relationship with my daughter oh i can't even like even when i say like my daughter oh my little baby girl i'm so excited um but that's all the updates job stuff is still the same i'm doing a part-time job two to three days a week and then i pick up like prn i'm so thankful for that right now because the last couple of weeks when i was like sick in my first trimester i was able to like not pick up at my prn job and i just went to like my part-time job two days a week so i was so thankful for that because some days i just needed to sleep and rest my body really needed that so i'm just th so thankful for that um so yeah that's kind of life right now oh look at look at baby girl 
Boop, boop, boop. Scene is safe. The person appears unresponsive. Some ways that we're pre prepping for the baby is doing an infant CPR and choking class. Um, it was a really cute class we attended with other parents. And here's my husband giving her back thrust. And then we also have just been getting set up her nursery, putting together her crib, and just buying other essentials that we're, we know we're gonna need once she's here. And trying to prevent like having to rush at the last minute. Um, so that's been really fun. So it is 8.30 at night and I'm kind of getting settled down. I was going to show you guys what I typically kind of pack for my lunches. So one, I have some yogurt, vanilla yogurt that has 15 grams of protein. And I also have like some keto granola that I'll have with this. I like having um, like a breakfast that has like a decent amount of protein just to kind of keep me full for most of the day until lunchtime. And then besides that, I have some, these are some um, whole wheat crackers in here. And I also just made some tuna to have with the crackers. And then I have some fruit I cut up, some strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And then in the little bottom compartment, I have like the keto granola. I really like this. Um, doesn't have much sugar, has a lot of protein. And then I have like this like bubbly... Almost like, yeah, it's sparkling water. Um, watermelon lime. Doesn't have much sugar in it. Doesn't have any, but it has like that fake sugar. Um, but just as another little treat. And then if I get hungry, I have like these mixed nuts, um, some almonds, dried cranberries, and cashews. Um, yeah. I am just getting off work. I went to Smoothie King, got myself a little smoothie. It's not that good i'm actually gonna go inside and see if i can make it taste better it's a lean one vanilla and it has like what well, the ingredients are like bananas almonds and then like a vanilla protein and it's just not that good i don't even know how to make it taste better i'm trying to be healthy so i got something that was only had 10 grams of sugar in the 20 ounce something that had protein um yeah just something that didn't have like a bunch of sugar in it and it's just not good. Like all the non-sugary options are not that good. And I'm just like, dang, it had a banana. So I'm just, maybe it only has like half a banana or something because I don't even know. I don't even know what I can put in this. I wish I had vanilla ice cream. I'd put a little scoop of vanilla ice cream. But anyway, but today was a good day. Um, this week I'm only working for, no, not four days. I'm actually working three days. So I worked Monday, today's Tuesday. I have Wednesday off because I have a doctor's appointment and a dentist appointment. I'm getting all my appointments knocked out in one day. And then Thursday I'm off because I was scheduled to work at one of the orthopedic surgery centers I go to, but they only have one room running. And when they only have one room, they just have like the anesthesiologist do um, the cases. So not going in that day. I got canceled last week. And then Friday, I'm going to the orthopedic center because they have two rooms going and they have enough cases. So um, yeah, today I did a bunch of carpal tunnel releases and then some cataracts at the end of the day. And that's pretty much it. Today was like a decent day. I left around like 310 and it's only like a little before four. So I'm gonna finish this smoothie because I paid for it. And then, I don't even know, just kind of relax and enjoy that I have tomorrow off. So I just got back from an OBGYN appointment not too long ago. The bump is bumping, she's doing good. Um, they just like listened to her heart rate and then measured her and just asked if I had any questions. It was a really short appointment, maybe like five minutes from the time like the midwife got in the room to when we were done. Um, and then after I got some bubble tea, um, the bubble tea was really sweet. I was like waiting for the ice to melt and then I was just like, it's just too much, it's too sweet. Some of the places I go to to get bubble tea, you can actually decide the sweetness it has like 100% sweet 50% and like 25 and I usually only get like 25 or 50 
but I didn't have the choice here, so it's super sweet. So I'm not even going to finish it, but some other things I did right after my appointment. <sighs> Sorry if I'm out of breath. I'm pretty much always out of breath if I've been moving around for a little bit now. But I just went to Ross, and I haven't been buying a bunch of maternity clothes, or if I do, I get them from Ross or Amazon, just because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on them, since it's only for a short period of time I will be wearing them. But I just got some, like, more, like, of these, like, pants. They're, like, kind of like biker pants, the yoga pants. Um, and then I like these little headbands I got, and, like, a maternity bra, and that's pretty much it. Um, so since the beginning of this month I have been just working three days a week like I was working five to four days a week and I decided like as soon as I hit like third trimester mid third trimester I'm gonna cut down my hours so since I'm 32 weeks I decided I'm just gonna do three days a week until about 36 weeks and then I'll do two days a week two days a week and then at 38 weeks I'm just gonna like not work until the babies do um, just because I'm already like out of breath all the time anyway and I would just like to relax and kind of get everything ready the last two weeks before the baby's here and just like be prepared if she comes early as well but that's pretty much it my plan once baby's here is I'm gonna take three months off um, and my husband thankfully has three months of paternity leave so we're gonna take six weeks off together and then he'll go back to work and I'll finish out the rest of my maternity leave. And then once my three months are up, he'll take off another month. So we get like four months of either both of us with the baby or one of us with the baby. And then after that, we're still trying to decide what we're gonna do exactly. We originally um, were to do a nanny, but of course nannies are expensive. And I want to work just part-time once she's here, at least for the first two years. And then after that, she can go to, like, preschool or something like that during the day. Um, just so she can, like, socialize and be around other kids. So I'm going to go back to work part-time. So working, like, three days a week for the most part. Um, so just having to have a nanny for five days a week when I'm home two of those days would just be really expensive. So we're trying to now do a nanny share. So a nanny share is basically when you and another family both have one kid, usually. Sometimes the family has two kids, but we're trying to find somebody else who just has one kid and you basically share a nanny. So the nanny would take care of the two kids at the same time. Or sometimes, I guess it's part-time, like the nanny will come to your house, sometimes take care of your kid alone, or the nanny would go to their house and take care of like their kid alone. But what most likely will happen is like um, the nanny share will be at either one of the family's houses, like my house or the other family's house, and we'll just drop our baby off or they'll drop our baby off here. And the nanny will take care of both of our kids at the same time. And it cuts down the cost by like half. Um, and it's just nice because since we don't technically need a nanny five days a week, 40 hours a week, it just makes sense to do something like a nanny share where the nanny will watch our baby three days a week and then I'll have her the um, two other days of the weekdays. So we still have a couple months to figure that out. We have until November is when we'll actually need childcare. So it's like early June, so we have a while um, to kind of figure that out, but that's kind of what's going on. This weekend I went to prenatal yoga class. I really haven't been working out. Uh, much this pregnancy but I try to do small things like yoga classes or go on walks um, I also went to Home Depot and got some flowers with my husband and his mom since she was in town and we've just been decorating our back patio and just making it really look nice for the summertime